a lot of patriotic truck drivers are disrespecting the flag if you're gonna be a patriot and fly the flag you gotta make sure that you respect the flag I'll explain more after this out here on the road I get a number of drivers that will come up to me and when they find out that I'm a lease operator they will try to pitch me a line to try to get me to lease onto the company they're with. I like to call these people driver recruiters. <laughs> they're drivers but they're also recruiters for their company. And I'm an open-minded person, you know, I want to hear about other companies and stuff like that. Am I really with the right company? But there's two questions I will always ask them. One, how does your company get uh, pay the lease operators? Is it cents per mile or is it um, a percentage? And then two, do you have a dispatcher? Does your lease operators have a dispatcher? Uh, if they get paid cents per mile or they have a dispatcher I say nope I will not do it I'm sorry lease operators if you're with a company that pays you cents per mile you know you're getting ripped off that's because the company is making a lot more money on that load but you're only getting paid a set cents per mile there's been times I've picked up loads and it pays me five dollars a mile three dollars a mile uh there's one time i picked up a load in la and uh it paid me 18 dollars a mile okay so sorry you're getting paid you're getting you know cheated the other thing is the fact that a dispatcher you're depending on somebody else to make you your company money Mm, I don't like that I want to have control over what loads I grab and all that stuff but at the same time I understand you know that when you're a lease operator you know especially when you're first starting out and stuff like that you want to be with a company that is big enough to be able to help you and I totally understand that because I am with a company that is big enough to help me which company is that my company is leased on to CRST flatbed CRST flatbed you get paid a percentage of what the load pays and you choose the loads you get to see how much it pays you get to determine on you know do you want a tarp do you, you know you're gonna have tarp or you're gonna have to and you get to choose and it's not given to you and you know it's not like these you know companies that say it's not forced dispatch uh, you're still depending on a dispatcher to show you those loads and they may not be showing you all the loads that's available <laughs> they may be showing you the loads that they want you to take not with CRST flatbed CRST flatbed you actually choose the loads from a load board that every driver sees and CRST flatbed has a large variety of ways of you getting loads you can choose from their agents you know which is posted on CRST flatbed's uh, uh, load board or you can go to an outside broker and book your load or if you have like uh, a company that you know you want to haul for and you can you know get them to uh, uh, come you know make their loads available to CRST you can do that there's several ways you know you can run for a company another company and stuff like that you know for a little bit there I was running for uh, uh, Malone boards dedicated with Malone I mean not Malone uh, Menards sorry Menards <laughs> if you're interested and you want to find out more about leasing onto CRST flatbed click the link that I have in the description and uh, see what they can offer you greetings in the name of our Lord Savior Jesus Christ I am the Oklahoma Tomcat coming to you from Indianapolis Indiana today 
I want to talk to you about uh, respecting the flag and how you're supposed to display it, especially when you have it on your vehicle. This idea for this blog came, uh, actually started this morning when I saw a truck driver with the American flag in the back of the trailer. And uh, it was looking pretty bad and ripped up and stuff like that. Now I see this quite a bit uh, throughout the 20 years I've been driving. But I'm seeing it more because of the trucking convoy and uh, uh, the whole patriotism thing that uh, is going on. And truck drivers uh, in general are patriotic, a lot of them are Republican, and uh, I have no problem with that. I mean, but, uh, and having served in the military, I do understand the uh, uh, being proud of the country and the flag and all that. To tell you the truth, as far as the flag goes, uh, it, it's a, a symbol, and I look at it like any symbol. Uh, the same thing, with, I'm a Christian, and I am patriotic, uh, just not in the way that Republicans are. And uh, yeah, as a Christian, you know, I look at the cross as a symbol, the Bible as a learning tool, <laughs> you know, and I don't put a whole lot into symbols, so that's where I stand on it. I uh, respect people, you know, the symbols people have and stuff like that. I don't disrespect. I don't, you know, I did criticize, you know, um, the whole NFL kneeling thing and stuff like that. You know, I say that you don't disrespect what other people hold holy, you know, if you will. But at the same time, I'm like, if you believe in this you need to know you know the proper way of showing respect for that symbol in this case the flag you know so if you're pay if you're patriotic and displaying the flag and everything you got to make sure that you are not disrespecting the flag in an attempt to show your patriotism you see what I'm saying because it does make you look bad and uh, that kind of got shown uh, a little bit earlier on the CB. Um, this guy came over the CB and started, uh, you know, ranting about uh, how truck drivers who have the flag on their truck um, are displaying it wrong. And it's very disrespectful and stuff like that. It sounded like he was in the military. And I got talking to him you know and uh, you know agreeing with him you know you the, there is a uh, way you're supposed to display the flag and there is a way you're not supposed to be displaying the flag. now before I go any further into you know displaying the flag on your vehicle let me correct something that a lot of people uh, misunderstand in, in particular Republicans the flag code is not law for civilian that civilians have to follow. Okay, let me repeat that. The flag code is not law. You don't have to follow it. Okay. Um, and thank goodness, because otherwise there would be a lot of truck drivers in jail, right? I mean, you're displaying that flag, flying it the wrong way, and... Uh, disrespecting it out in public for everyone to see you know if it was law you would have been pulled over and you know either fined or put in jail or something you know wherever you know and uh, the funny thing is I've uh, come across Republicans who say that you know it should be law and that uh, uh, if you disrespect the flag you should be uh, put in jail and treated for treason and all that stuff and and I'm like you know really um, you can't force your belief on other people, you know. And when I was in the military, I did fight for everyone's right, or well, you know, I I mean that was the purpose of joining, right? Um, but you know, uh, 
and that includes people who don't like our country you know so you know and, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because a lot of the Republicans say would say such a thing whenever they're you know there's a demonstration going on where somebody's burning flags stepping on the flag or you know doing many other things and I feel the same way about you know people who disrespect the uh, uh, Christian symbols you know you know doesn't hurt me you know I'm sure Jesus can take care of it <laughs> all right so about the displaying of the flag on a vehicle okay and there's a, a list of them uh, I did write them down and stuff so that I can make sure I'm hitting on everything and don't forget something um, but and a lot of truck drivers going to be shocked at some of this stuff uh, as far as what how you're supposed to be oh, stop it oh, my dog is getting on me sorry about that being a baby all right now the one thing and I haven't seen this done is draping the flag over the hood or anything like that yeah you're not supposed to do that you know in fact your the flag is not supposed to touch anything other than uh, the pole that it's on uh, and it's supposed to fly freely you know so the drivers having the flag you know in the back of the trailer that flag is not supposed to touch that trailer it's not supposed to touch the ground and, and that includes when you take it down and put it up okay uh, now if you're flying one flag it's supposed to be on the right side of the vehicle as you are sitting behind the driver's seat it's supposed to be on the right side um, if you have two flags then it's on both sides the flag is supposed to be mounted on the frame of the vehicle okay um, and they do sell uh, kits for putting flags on the vehicle and stuff like that the, the frame or the chassis of the vehicle um, Okay, and I don't see this happen much with the flag as far as the displaying other flags. The American flag, no other flag, if you are flying more than one flag, you're, no other flag is supposed to be higher than the other. Another thing about the, uh, where the flag is supposed to be, and by the way, if you watch, if you look at government vehicles, the, you know, like the president's uh, limo and such, you'll see how it's supposed to be displayed. The flag is also supposed to be in the front of the vehicle, not the back. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be the right front if you have one, or both sides of the front if you have two. Okay. Now, you can mount the flag on the top of the roof of the vehicle. <laughs> I haven't seen this. Maybe it's boarding events or something like that. Maybe they do it. Uh, but apparently you can also mount on the top of the roof, but it's got to be center um, And it has to be way up there I don't see drivers doing that uh, Now here's Another thing This is where ha another thing with having the flag in the back of the trailer is really really bad and I've seen also drivers where they put it in the back of the cab of the vehicle. That's also very, very bad. The flag, if it gets ripped or it gets like dirty in any way, you have to retire the flag. That's disrespect to be flying that flag ripped and dirty. Okay. When you mount the flag, you have to ensure that it's not going to get ripped and it's not going to get dirty okay uh, if it does you must properly retire when I say retire it's actually a ceremony that you have for the flag as it's re you know to be retired and part of that retirement is burning the flag okay but it's got to be done in a ceremonial way 
and I, a lot of your veterans places and stuff like that your organizations and stuff will do that for you if you don't know how to do it uh, or you don't want to do it or <laughs> you are someplace where you can't do it you can drop the flag off and have it you know retired the proper way uh, That that's that's the thing with the uh, uh, whole flags thing. Now I don't pass judgment. Like I said, I don't really hold the uh, flag as sacred as you know. And a lot of people get shocked about that, you know, because I'm a veteran. But see, my whole thing with the patriotism and the uh, uh, symbols and stuff like that, I it's because of my. Uh, religious belief is that you don't hold symbols sacred or holy or you know anything like that um, they're just that symbols you know and I don't do that with the cross I don't I never kneel to the cross or do the whole cross thing or you know pray to the cross I, I think that's all wrong I don't pass judgment on anyone I mean if you if you do it you know that's your thing I'm but I myself don't do it, and that's why, you know, even though I'm a veteran, I don't, you know, do the whole Pledge of Allegiance and, you know, holding the uh, flag uh, to a high standard like that. Um, but if you do, if, if you're the one displaying these flags, you really, 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 really should be doing it correctly. Because, I mean, you're saying that you're patriot or patriotic, but yet... You're disrespecting the flag, and that's something you really don't want to be doing. And when you encounter someone, you know, if you encounter someone like me who's going to challenge you, you know, it's like this morning I did go up to that guy and I said, "You really need to retire that flag." You know, he didn't quite understand what I was talking about or anything, you know, but you know, uh, he did apologize because he saw as a veteran, but um, which I'm like, I mean. It's on you. I mean, you're, you're the one claiming to be a patriot. No, I didn't say that, but you know, what I was thinking. I said on the inside, not the outside. But I just want to bring that out to you guys, you know, and hopefully more drivers that want to display their flat, you know, show that they're a patriot and stuff like that, which good on you, you know. Um, we'll do it the proper way and, you know. Because if you do come across somebody who knows the flag code and the flag ethics, which by the way, I was kind of citing for both because actually the flag code um, doesn't give all that, but the flag etiquette does, you know, both of them are very important to patriots, you know, and those of us in the military, was in the military uh, and government officials have to follow that, you know, even though civilians don't have to government officials do um but like i said if you're a patriot learn how to show respect to your flag y'all take care god bless